Are you ready to dive into the world of Honey West? This 1965 TV series introduces us to a fearless female detective who takes on cases with wit and style. Starring Anne Francis as Honey West, the show follows her adventures as she solves mysteries with her trusty pet ocelot Bruce. But hold on tight, because there's more to this series than meets the eye. Throughout the episodes, you'll encounter funny, shocking, and even sad moments that will keep you glued to the screen. What classic Hollywood actor in this TV series was your favorite? Or do you have a cherished memory associated with this show? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, if you're ready for some thrilling detective action and unforgettable moments, keep watching this video. There's plenty more where that came from. Honey West is a TV show that first aired in 1965. It's about a private detective named Honey West who solves crimes in Los Angeles. She's smart, tough, and always gets the job done. Honey's partner is her pet ocelot named Bruce, who helps her out on her cases. The show is set in the swinging 60s, so expect lots of groovy fashion and cool cars. Honey West was groundbreaking because it featured a strong female lead in a typically male-dominated genre. The show won a few awards and became a cult classic. Fans loved Honey's fearless attitude and her knack for solving mysteries. Everett Sloan's last time in front of the camera was in an episode of a TV series with Anne Francis. Even though he had passed away, his acting talent still shone through on screen, showcasing his dedication to the craft. Similarly, Dick Clark made memorable appearances in the final episodes of different TV series. Whether it was Perry Mason, where his charm lit up the screen, or Police Squad, where his comedic timing stood out, Clark's versatility as an entertainer was clear. His guest spots added extra excitement to the last episodes of these beloved shows. The show, featuring Anne Francis and a diverse cast, received praise from both audiences and critics. It was released on DVD in the UK in 26 by Delta Home Entertainment and in North America in September 2008 by VCI Entertainment. This allowed fans to relive the show's magic for years to come. In conclusion, Everett Sloan and Dick Clark left an unforgettable impact on television. Their presence in these final episodes reminds us of their immense talent and the lasting influence they had on the entertainment industry. In the big city of Los Angeles, two well-known folks, Lloyd Bochner and Wayne Rogers, were laid to rest side by side. Bochner, famous for acting in movies and TV shows, left a lasting mark on the entertainment world. People all around the globe loved the characters he played. Rogers, known for his role in the TV series MASH as Trapper John McIntyre, was admired for his talent and humor. His passing left many feeling sad, as he was loved by fans and friends alike. Apart from making waves in entertainment, Dick Clark, who is no longer with us, did more than just Hollywood stuff. He took a theater in New York and turned it into a happening place called the Dick Clark Westchester Theater. It became a spot for all sorts of performances that wowed audiences from near and far. Each of these people, in their own way, left a mark on American culture. They inspired others to follow their dreams. In the late 1950s, Gloria and Forrest E. Skip Fickling created the character, drawing inspiration from both Marilyn Monroe and Mike Hammer. They combined elements to form a character they named Honey West. Skip, a veteran of World War II and the Korean War, penned the stories under the pseudonym Gigi. Fickling, using the initials of his wife, Gloria Gautraud, to keep the author's gender ambiguous. Gloria contributed ideas for Honey's character, including her distinctive dress sense. In Spanish-speaking countries, the series was titled La Rubia Peligrosa. And Francis, who portrayed Honey West, had two daughters. Jane Elizabeth Abeloff, born in March 1962, and Margaret Frances West, who was adopted in May 1970. Margaret's adoption marked one of the first granted to a single parent in California. Jane Elizabeth shared her mother's trademark mole. And Frances first portrayed the character in a 1965 episode of Burke's Law. This appearance led to the creation of the series as a spin-off. The show was later spoofed in Mad Magazine as Honey Waste. She drove a white Shelby AC Cobra SN CSX 25 and 40, which was loaned out by Shelby American for the series. This car, sold in 1966, was equipped with a 289 HP engine and aluminum T10 transmission. The ocelot accompanying her was named Bruce. Her character, Honey West, was crafted as an American counterpart to the likes of Catherine Gale and Emma Peel from a British TV series. Produced by Aaron Spelling, who later created another hit, the similarities between this show and Charlie's Angels are hard to miss. Though ahead of its time, lasting only one season, the formula found success later with the right dose of camp. 
It's a testament to the changing times that Charlie's Angels became a sensation while her series faded into obscurity. Inspired by her portrayal of Pussy Galore in Goldfinger, Aaron Spelling approached Honor Blackman for the lead role, but she declined. Throughout the show's 30 episodes, various guest stars made appearances, including Joe Don Baker, James Best, Lloyd Bochner, Ed Burns, Dick Clark, Charlene Holt, Nancy Kovac, Kevin McCarthy, Maureen McCormick, Burt Parks, Michael J. Pollard, Wayne Rogers, Everett Sloan, and Bobby Sherman. Michael Pate, known for his expertise in Old West military procedures, played a significant role. In the world of popular TV shows, she was a pioneer, the first woman detective to appear on the small screen. Created by Skip Fickling and Gloria Fickling, she came to life in books from the late 1950s to the early 1960s. Although her story in books ended in 1971, she became a TV icon in 1965. Played by Anne Francis, she showed strength and determination just like the actress herself. During her time, Francis learned karate to bring authenticity to the character's tough yet graceful style. It was a groundbreaking role that influenced TV history, opening doors for more female leads in similar shows. In July 2002, Ed Burns appeared as a guest at the Western Film Fair in Charlotte, NC, alongside Donna Douglas, Alex Cord, Johnny Duncan, Peggy Stewart, Gene Porter, Steve Mitchell, and Kevin Greaves. Cesar DeNova's epitaph on his crypt at Valley Oaks Memorial Park in Westlake Village, California reads, Praise the Lord. Honey West stunt double Gene LaBelle, was a judo black belt, professional wrestler, MMA instructor, and stuntman. He brought authenticity and skill to the action scenes in the series. In a notable collaboration, Anne Francis and John Erickson starred together as siblings in a John Sturges movie called Bad Day at Black Rock, where the protagonist showcased jujitsu skills. The series featured Anne Francis as the titular character, known for her intelligence and martial arts prowess. John Erickson also appeared in an episode of the show, adding to the dynamic performances of the cast. This partnership added depth and familiarity to the screen, enhancing the viewer's experience with their chemistry and shared history. In the world of television, a groundbreaking story unfolded, captivating audiences with its portrayal of a female private investigator. This series introduced a strong, independent character who tackled cases with intelligence and courage alongside her trusty pet Ocelot. Unfortunately, tragedy struck when one of the co-stars unexpectedly passed away, leaving a void in the show and impacting its dynamics. Despite this setback, the series left a lasting impact on television history, inspiring future female-led detective shows. Its influence continues to be felt, showcasing the enduring appeal of a pioneering character in crime solving. Amidst the glamour of a 1960s TV series, tragedy struck when a beloved ocelot named Bruce, who played a sidekick role, met an unfortunate end during filming due to an accident. This incident shed light on the risks of working with live animals on set, leaving a deep impact on those involved. The show itself followed the adventures of a private detective and martial arts expert portrayed by Anne Francis. This character was ahead of her time, challenging stereotypes with her independence and resourcefulness. She often teamed up with a loyal partner, played by John Erickson. The TV series showcased sleek and stylish fashion of the era, with the lead character sporting a black jumpsuit and accessories that became synonymous with her persona, leaving a lasting impression on viewers. Despite its brief duration of only one season, the show broke ground as one of the earliest detective series led by a female protagonist. Its influence extended far beyond its initial airing, setting the stage for future shows featuring strong female leads. In the realm of television production, unforeseen tragedies can cast a shadow over the creative process. Such was the case during the filming of a popular show when a seasoned stunt performer tragically lost his life while executing a daring scene. Despite rigorous safety protocols, accidents like these serve as stark reminders of the dangers inherent in bringing thrilling action sequences to the screen. The show, conceived by creators Gwen Bagney and Paul Duboff, centered around a fictional character known for her crime-solving prowess. Portrayed by Anne Francis, the lead character captivated audiences with her charisma and unwavering resolve. This show marked one of the earliest instances of a female private investigator taking the spotlight in television history. Despite its short stint on air, the series made a lasting impression on television audiences. It challenged conventions by featuring a strong, independent female lead in a genre traditionally dominated by male protagonists. Through its portrayal of a female detective, the show shattered stereotypes and paved the way for future productions featuring empowered women in similar roles. 
and Francis's performance as the titular character earned widespread acclaim and a dedicated fan following. Her portrayal remains iconic, showcasing her talent and versatility as an actress. Despite its cancellation following just one season, the show's legacy endured beyond its brief time on air. It achieved cult status, celebrated for its groundbreaking depiction of a female detective and its influence on television storytelling. In a surprising twist, something terrible happened during the making of a popular TV series back in 1965. The main actor got seriously hurt while filming an action scene. This not only stopped the show from being made for a while, but also changed how it felt and how fast it moved. The accident made the writers and producers rethink where the series was going, so they made big changes to the story and how the characters acted. It shows that in showbiz, even the best plans can go wrong. As the series went on, everyone involved still felt sad about what happened. The bad accident made the whole team feel down, even though they were working really hard. They managed to keep the show going, but the sad mood around it stayed with them. Despite the tough time, the people making the show showed they could deal with hard situations and change what they were doing when they needed to. The accident became a big part of the series, even though no one saw it coming. It shows how the people who work on TV can handle tough stuff and keep going, no matter what. This TV series had a big problem that the people working on it had to deal with. 